Welcome everybody and to another drill of the week. Today we're going to be doing a drill called Back to the Coach. So let's get going with Back to the Coach. Okay, so with Back to the Coach, this is how we're going to get set up. We got forwards and defensemen on this side with one coach and on the same on the other side. We've got some pylons down the center because we want these guys to stay on their half and the other guys in the other half. So they're not just going all over the ice. This is a competition drill. So what will happen is, is the coach is just going to dump a puck out here and they're, these guys are going to race for it and they're going to battle. And they can go anywhere between the blue out to here and they're just going to be protecting the puck, skating around, trying to keep it away from the other one. Now, after about 5, 10, 15 seconds, whatever the coach decides, he's going to blow the whistle and whoever has the puck has to get the puck back to the coach and then get open for a pass back. And the other guy is trying to defend this guy from getting the puck. So it goes from a competition to, to a support and then they're trying to go down. So if it, the coach gives this puck, guy the puck, he's going to come in. The other guy is always defending and they're going to go down for a shot on net. Now the same thing is happening over here. And as soon as these guys go and this, this guy gets the puck and they start going this way, the coach dumps a new puck out which starts the second one. And here's the drill on the ice, and you can see the coach dumps it out. Players are battling. They have to stay within the, the blue lines and on their own side of the ice. Coach blows the whistle, gets it back, and he's got to get open. And that other player has to compete and try to get it back. In this situation, he kind of gets it back, and they keep battling. There's another one. They're battling. He's doing tight turns. They're along the boards. He's got to fight for it. And it's really important some of these for some people they really got to battle to get that puck back when they lose the puck like this guy you battle and you get it right back whistle goes you give it to the coach and you break for for the open ice and this guy scores it also reinforces some bad habits so if you're trying to put it between your legs and stuff you can lose the puck working hard and having a competitiveness in your team is really important and as a coach you need to model that and you should be doing a couple of competition drills every practice, in my opinion. Doing competition drills it is a great way for you to reinforce hard work, uh, being on the right side of the puck, battling for pucks, and you can talk about it in a game as one of your key points. Uh, if you win, this is because of the things we do in our practice. This is the kind of team we are. This is the kind of identity we have as a team. So working hard and being competitive is really in a in a contact sport like hockey it's really the the thing that's going to separate you more than anything else it's science so keep working on those drills as well when you're doing it thanks for watching the video today uh, look for next week's video uh, hit that subscribe button and the like button and we'll see you next week with the next drill of the week